Stop. Take a moment. Now let's pause for prayer. Today's verse of the day is Isaiah 12 2 KJV. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for giving us to know that you are the one who saves us. While some trust in chariots, others in horses, we choose to remember the name of the Lord our God. Father, despite how things look in the natural, help us not be afraid. Father, we thank you for giving us new strength. Father, we thank you for turning your anger from us because we are of a repentant heart, not laying again the foundation of dead works. Therefore, he asked, according to Isaiah 12, 3, that you allow us, with joy, to draw water out of the wells of salvation. We pray now, for those void of peace, realizing that you are not the author of confusion. Help us, not to be the distributors of it, by sowing discord and causing division among the saints. Father, reveal to us today, those who seem to be a listening ear to us, but are behind the scenes or keeping up confusion within the body of Christ. Father, you are calling us to trust you today. Many of us trust you in the things we can trace, but give us today the strength to trust you when we don't understand how things will work out. Father, you are calling many of us to step out and obey you. Help us that we not procrastinate, not realizing that you will not always wait on us to be obedient. Father, help us to trust you with blind faith today. Open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we don't have room enough to contain. Many of us, you have called to step out and plant churches. Bless the Holy Place Church with a physical location in the community that you want your church to be. Father, open doors for every church in need of a location to be able to gather and give us a fresh vision of how to win souls. In this last and evil day, give us wisdom in how to win souls, realizing that our old methods and tactics no longer work. Father, send investors and those who own vacant church properties into our path. Make this process easy for us. In Jesus' name, bind the work and the hand of the devil, that we might reclaim the time that we have lost, seeking you over and over for confirmation. Bind and hold the tongues of the naysayers, gainsayers, and soothsayers. Give us a break from the tactics of the enemy. Refresh and strengthen us for the task ahead. Father, send laborers and people to sow into the vision that you have assigned to our hands. Speak peace to the heart and the mind of the fearful one of what others will say and what they think. Give us an overwhelming assurance today that you are the one that called us and you will not fail to perform your word Father, give unto us every single thing that we need for the journey ahead. Father, bless some with vans, others with shower trucks, food and laundry trucks, that we might be the community servant leaders that you are calling us to be. Equip us, that we might be repairers of the breach, bridging the gap. Send translators, graphic designers, video and sound production teams, and every other person that you gifted and anointed to help us fulfill the vision that you have assigned to our hands. Father, send peace and confirmation to those that are read to throw in the towel. Send someone to give them to know that they are not alone, that you have not forgotten about them and that you will come through. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for taking the time to listen to today's edition of Pause for Prayer, sponsored by The Holy Place Church. Remember, we are praying for you and believing God with you in your circumstance. Submit your prayer requests via our website at holyplacechurch.org. Help someone who may be going through by sharing this prayer to your social media page. On behalf of our lead servant, Lydia Young, we thank you for tuning in. Have a fantastic day.